Welcome back to tutorial series. In the previous video, we learned how, what a linear second order differential equation with constant coefficients looks like, what are homogeneous and non-homogeneous equations and their solutions and we learned the working principle of finding complementary function. As if you can recall, the solution of non-homogeneous equation is given by the sum of complementary function and particular integral. So let's learn how to find particular integral. There are two methods. The first one is undetermined coefficients method and the second one is variation of parameters method. In the undetermined coefficients method, we consider something called a trial solution based on the type of q of x given in the question. Let's say the q of x given in the question is a linear polynomial of the form alpha x plus beta. Then the trial solution will be ax plus b. If it's alpha x square plus beta x plus gamma, then it's ax square plus bx plus c and so on. This is the case when 0 is not a root of auxiliary equation. Let's be cautious about that. If 0 is a one time repeated root of auxiliary equation, then you have to multiply x with the above obtained format. If it's 2 times, then multiplying with x square. If it's n times, multiplying with x to the power of n. So the other format that q of x can take is sine ax. In this case, the trial solution will be a cos ax plus b sin ax. This is the case when plus or minus ia is not a root of auxiliary equation. The same format as mentioned above is followed for cos ax and alpha sin ax plus beta cos ax where alpha and beta are again some constants. So the format is a cos ax plus b sin ax. Let's be cautious about the plus or minus ia being the root of a. Now, if plus or minus ia is the root of a, then you have to multiply the above obtained format with x. The other format q of x could take is e to the power of ax. So, if a is not a root of auxiliary equation, then a e to the power of ax is the trial solution. If it is one time repeated root, then you have to multiply it with x. If it's two time repeated root, you have to multiply it with x square and so on. Here are some other formats which is a merging of the above seen basic formats. So let's so if it's alpha x plus beta that is a linear polynomial with an exponential function. Obviously we write the format of linear polynomial which is ax plus b and that of a exponential function. If you can recall a into e to the power of ax is a format of exponential function since when a gets multiplied with a into b it's again a constant so we just take it as ax plus b into e to the power of ax similarly you can obtain it for quadratic polynomial and here if you see this is a trigonometric equation trigonometric and then e to the power of bx which is an exponential function here again you uh, multiply the corresponding formats it's the same for cos ax and alpha sin ax plus beta cos ax. So the next thing is x sin ax. This is a format. And again, you know that it's a sin ax plus b cos ax for sin ax. So for x, it is a some constants ax plus b. So when you multiply, the constants are again become constants. So you generally take it in this format. So the next one is x e to the power of bx sin ax. So this is the format for this particular type. So please, re, uh, please recall or remember all these formats as these are very important for this particular method. Let's solve a question. The question is y double dash minus 6 y dash plus 9 y which is equal to 5 e, e to the power of minus 2x. Since the right hand side is not equal to 0. The, this equation is non-homogeneous equation. Hence, the solution is given by the sum of complementary function and particular integral. First, let's find complementary function. So, as per the given steps, we substitute d and then m in the place of d. We obtain the auxiliary equation. On getting the roots, we see that the roots are real and equal. 
So based on the given format, C1 plus C2x into e to the power of mx, we substitute the value of m and obtain the complementary function, which is a general solution in this case. Then we are, as per the method of, we are, method of undetermined coefficients, you have to find the trial solution. Since it is e to the power of ax, you are, the format is a e to the power of ax. So here you have a e to the power of ax. Here a e to the power of minus 2x be the trial solution. On differentiating it, we obtain minus 2 a e to the power of minus 2x and differentiating it again, we obtain this. We have y, y dash and y double dash. So on substituting these in the given above equation, we obtain something like 4 a e to the power of minus 2x minus 6 into minus 2 a e to the power of minus 2x plus 9 a e to the power of minus 2x is equal to 5 e to the power of minus 2x. Then on simplifying it, we obtain 25 a e to the power of minus 2x, which is equal to 5 a e to the power of minus 2x. So we obtain a is equal to 1 by 5. So on substituting the value of a in the above obtained trial solution, we get yp is equal to 1 by 5 e to the power of minus 2x. We know that the solution of differential equation, which is non-homogeneous, is a sum of complementary function and particular integral. We, we sum the we sum both the obtained solutions to obtain the solution of the given differential equation. Here's another format. Here you can observe that q of x is a combination of a cubic polynomial and a trigonometric function. x cube plus sine x. So the question is d square minus 2d plus 3 into y which is equal to x cube plus sine x. On converting it into auxiliary equation to obtain the complementary function, we obtain the roots to be m is equal to 1 plus or minus root 2i. Then, based on since the roots are imaginary, based on the required format, we find the general solution of the complementary function. So, let's consider the trial solutions now. And as you know, the trial solution must be ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, where a, b, c, d are constants for something like a cubic polynomial and for a trigonometric function it must be e sin x plus f cos x. We cannot tell that these these constants a, b will be equal to those of e and f, I mean uh, to those of the trigonometric function. So we take different constants for everything. Then when you differentiate it once and twice you obtain these equations and when you substitute these in the above given differential equation you obtain all these equations on comparing the corresponding coefficients of x cube x square x x to the power of zero sine x and cos x we see that these relations are obtained and on solving all those we obtain the values of a b c and D, then that of E and F. On substituting all these into the above obtained particular trial solution, we obtain this particular integral. We know that the sum of complementary function and particular integral is the solution here. So we sum them to find the solution of the given differential equation. Here's another question where Q of X has only a trigonometric function. So as usual, substitute d and then m to obtain auxiliary equation. Find the roots. Here the roots are real and distinct. So based on the format, the complementary function is c1 e to the power of 4x plus c2 e to the power of minus 2x. So let the trial solution be yp is equal to a cos 2x plus b sin 2x as per the above obtained formats or above given formulas. Then you obtain the differentiation of yp and two, second order differentiation of yp. Then on substituting yp, yp dash and yp double dash in the above given differential equation, we obtain these equations. On comparing the coefficients, we obtain the following relations from which we derive the values of a and b. Then substituting, we obtain the particular integral then the sum of complementary function particular integral give the solution of the given differential equation. Here are a few other problems for practice. 
टू प्रैक्टिस दैम ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट